Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to install IntelliJ IDEA and how to use it to create your first Java project. So the first step is to download IntelliJ IDEA. So let's do this. Then let's go to this first link. And let's click on the download button. As you can see, we have two versions for Windows. One is paid version, and this is the free version. So let's download the free version. Now we can save this file on the computer. But in my case, I have already downloaded this installer. So I will cancel the download, and I will use the installer that I have already downloaded. But before starting the installation, it is necessary to check that you have already installed the Java GDK. So to check the, that the GDK is installed, it is necessary to start the command prompt and to type the following command. As you can see, the Java GDK is installed and this is the version that I have. It is version 15.0.2. So now let's start the installation of IntelliJ IDEA. So in this window, I will click on next. Then I will accept this default location of the installation. Then, then I will click next. And here I will check this box because I have a 64-bit computer. And also it is also possible to select this box. For this box, in fact, if you want to be able to start IntelliJ IDEA from the command prompt, you can select it, but you need to restart your computer. In my case, I really don't need this functionality, so I will click Next. Then Install. Now, as you can see, the installation finished successfully. So let's click on finish to close this window. And we have this new shortcut on the desktop that allows us to start IntelliJ IDEA. So let's start it. So in this welcome uh, window, it is possible to create a new uh, project. So I will click on this button to start to create a new project. And in this uh, window, it is possible to create a new Java project. So I select Java here. And as you can see, the GDK that is selected is the GDK that is installed on my computer. So let's click on next, next again. And here I will provide the name of this project. Let's call it Hello IntelliJ. Then finish. So let's close this window. And here we have the new project. In fact, if I select the project name, then I, in fact, it is empty for the moment. I don't have any class. So if I want to create a new class, it is not recommend, uh, you should not select the project name because if the project name is selected, then you make file new, you will not find uh, Java class. So to be able to create a new Java class, you have to select source, then file, then new, and here you have Java class. So here you have 
to provide the class name. So let's call it main class. Then enter. So the new class has been created and inside this class, I will add the main method to be able to execute this class. So let's type main. It is not necessary to type all the method, just main and with the code completion of NTDJ idea, you hit enter and the method will be completed. So let's add system out println. Also, I will not type all the instruction. I will just type S out. Then I will hit enter. Then let's print some text. Then let's run this file. So I make right click, then run. And this is the output. Now let's create a new class that allows us to build a frame. So I will do the same thing. I will select source, then file, then new, and then Java class. And this time I want to create a new class into a new package. And that, therefore I need to provide the package name followed by the class name. So let's provide the name of the package. Then the name of the class, let's call it main frame. Then enter. So the package has been created and uh, this class has been added. So this class, as I said, it is a frame. That's why I will add extends G frame. Then I will hit enter. So IntelliJ idea will add the required import. Now I will add a simple method into this class. Let's call it init. And inside this method, I will just paste uh, some uh, instructions. So this to show the title, this the dimension of the frame, this to allow the application to be stopped once we click on the close button of the frame and this to make the frame visible. And here, as you can see, we have the description of the parameters. So if you like this option, you can use it. Otherwise, you can hide it by clicking, by doing a right click, then disable hints. So the description will disappear. Now I cannot run this class because it does not contain the main method. As you can see, I don't have run uh, option. So to be able to use this class, I will go back to main class. Then here in the main method, I will create an object of type main frame. Let's call it my frame. And here, as you can see, I have some errors because main frame does not belong to the same package as main class. So to correct this, I have to put the cursor on the error. And as you can see, I have the suggestion of IntelliJ idea to correct this. I have to type enter and ALT simultaneously. So ALT enter and a new import has been added to fix this error. Now the errors disappeared. So let's run this uh, class. So run. As you can see, nothing appeared because I did not call the init method. So let's correct this. So my frame init. Now let's run this class again. So this is the window that we obtained. So if I close this window, the application will be stopped. As you can see now, the application stopped it correctly. So if I want to create a new uh, project, it is recommended that I start first by closing this project. So let's close this project. And as, I can, as you can see, we obtain this frame that allows us either to open an existing project or uh, 
to create a new one. So this is the list of the available projects. And if I want to create a new one, I have just to click on new project. So let's create a new project rapidly. Let's call it new project. Then finish. And we obtain a new project that is empty for the moment uh, and that we can uh, fill with the required classes. So, so this is all for this video. I hope that it is useful for you. Uh, please subscribe to the channel.